Hey, Pastor Art here from Feather Sound Community Church just down the road from you all in High Point. I just want to say um, blessings in the name of Jesus. We're praying for you. We're thankful that you have a guy named like Carlos in your life. And he asked me if I would be willing to give you a brief encouragement from the word. You know, we're in a weird season of life and time. Maybe some of you lost your jobs because of this. Maybe things are going through a difficult situation. I know that many of us are living in a time of fear because of what's going on with this virus. And the Bible has a lot to say. 56 times the word anxiety is mentioned. 365 times the Bible says, don't fear, fear not. And so fear is a big part of the human existence. And the Bible as a result speaks about it. In Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 it says don't be anxious for anything. Don't be anxious for not a thing. Isn't that crazy? There's so many things I want to be anxious about. But he says, but everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God. And it says, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart in Christ Jesus here's what it says he says to give your prayers and your petitions God I'm going through a tough time here's my situation I'm giving it to you God but he says insert and don't forget the step that second half where you have a promise of peace doesn't come unless you're giving it to him directing it to him but coming in with Thanksgiving why the Thanksgiving part is so important is simply this because a lack lack of Thanksgiving indicates that you're trying to control the situation that you're in charge, we're not. God is sovereign over this. This didn't take him by surprise. He knew that this was going to happen. And by going in with thanksgiving, God, I, I, I have a lot to be concerned about, but I'm giving it to you. But I thank you for my health. I thank you for my children. I thank you for whatever it is that you could insert in your life. And when you come to him with thanksgiving, you're putting him back on the throne, trusting him, and being thankful even in a time maybe you don't want to be thankful and there's a peace that comes supernaturally out of that now the other thing is we sit there and watch the news and our mind goes downward in a spiral and we get overwhelmed by listening to all the things being said on CNN and Fox News and the promise in the next verse verse 8 comes along and he says now whatever is good pure lovely true of good report dwell on these things brothers and what he's saying is your mind goes if it goes to the negative it will go down negative it goes to the positive it won't go down that area so getting in the Word of God is so absolutely important for you and I because it has the answers don't be anxious brother sister but with everything by prayer and petition uh, Peter says in first Peter he says cast your cares on him for he cares for you Peter was a fisherman he know, knew what it was to throw a net, and he th would throw a net, and you let go. You don't hold on to the net. And so cast your cares. Jesus, you, you promised that you would work all things to good, Romans 8, 28. Well, you hold God th to that, but it says one thing. That is, if you belong to him, you can trust him that he'll work everything out to good, even this. But that promise is only for those who have put their trust and faith in Jesus Christ. If you've not done that, Maybe what God is do, you, doing is he's using this situation to draw you. Hey, I care more about your eternity than I care about your present occupation or your work. Come to me. Cast your cares on me. See, that promise is good is when we put our faith in him and our trust in him that he will take care of our need. Not our wants, but our need. Would you do that today? Would you put your trust in him? Would you cast your need on him and allow him to take care of you? Well, we love you. And uh, we look forward to maybe looking forward to a day where we can help you and, and, and work with your community in the future.